Blaine's truck? Huh? What happened with Blaine's truck? What happened with Blaine's truck? Is it okay? Yeah, they just, we had to, you gotta, with these snow, snow powers, you gotta jump start the battery. You gotta put, hook a battery, or hook your battery up to the cables and get it to come off the ground. So that's, we lifted it up. And oh, it, was his know. battery dead? Your battery was dead, I'm oh, guessing? Oh yeah, yeah, it's dead as a doornail. Yeah, you know? okay. But I got two extra hoses for this, these bad ones. I bought them oh. last year. So oh, they're, they're dude. Sitting. Yeah, whenever that goes, we got more. Where's Alex? He went down to the shop to get rid of the trailer. We don't need the trailer for anything. No, we don't want it up here. Yeah, I That's for sure. Here. I don't want to leave anything here. I, have these been hooked up yet this year? Yeah, to get, get them up, up here. here. Yeah. To get them up? That's it? Yep. Okay, and so I'll, we're going to... I'll probably start dropping these in my driveway, and I'll just try to hook that up myself or keep that, you know, keep the frame in the back. But... What are you guys going to do next? The tracks? Oh, I'm going to start, so Alex has something to do, and then once he gets here, he's going to take over, and I'm going to start getting my plows hooked up. Alex's are the easiest to hook up out of anybody, so then at least we got three plow trucks. And then, um, you know, where's pushers? We'll get a pusher on the ASV. Well, we'll have four plow trucks. Mine. Mine's ready. I don't have my back plow, but... Yeah, so it's like three quarters of a plow truck. <laughs> three quarters? <laughs> right. I'm gonna hop in the sledge, I'll get that going. <sighs> I don't know how this Kubota is gonna do this winter. I'm gonna bring the uh, kitty cat over here and then we're gonna lift it up and then we're gonna set it on some boards. Set the cat, cat on some boards. Oh, you need the Kubota, or you need the yeah, sledge? Yeah, lift the back end up. Okay. We'll Joey, do you know why we changed the track? Um, are some winter tracks better traction? So the reason we change them is right now they got dirt tracks on yep. and I don't care about tearing up my my dirt tracks yep. but the all season tracks are right there and you can use all season tracks all year round but I like to save them for snow plowing that way we don't use them in the summer tear them up on demolition sites right and we always got a fresh set of shoes going on a piece of equipment yep. oh it's a hassle and a half it works out yep. Here's the guy, the test. Will she fire? She cold. Not plugged in. Oh. Yeah, I just fell right out of the loader. So, yeah, it's cut crawling out of it. And it's so slick. These guys can keep working. I gotta start getting something pushed. So somehow I gotta sneak these sons of a ducks out. difference between a good set of 
Yeah, it's slick, isn't it? <laughs> and that's the difference good set of uh, snow tracks makes on a track machine. That's Joey's first bucket of snow right there. Alex is learning them. That's his first bucket. We call these doing open ups. This is where we just go down the drive lanes, getting the building safe and secure for the cars coming in and out. We're not going curb to curb or doing a full push yet. got two noobs on this storm that are getting trained in on how to run equipment. So we throw Zach in the Kubota. That just is a little bit trickier to operate and to keep stable, and so we don't want to put the noobs in a touching machine. So Henry, this is like the perfect training grounds right here. Right. Okay. Uh, so this lot, there's nobody in it, but I am going to be your obstacle. So right. you got to keep your eye open for me, and I'm intentionally working in this lot with you so you can get accustomed to learning how to work around cars. Okay. okay? Make sure Henry knows that we always start at the furthest point away from our push pile. That way we don't go over the same area twice. a regular pusher that would have hurt. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Henry! Try not to intentionally hit your mole boards onto the curb. Okay. Although they're designed to float up and over every time you hit them, you can bend them, tweak them, damage them. So okay. when you lift up and you're going forward, lift up high enough to get those above the curbs and then set down. Okay, let's do a couple more back drags. Maybe some of you guys wouldn't mind the edumacation, but this is, not only is he learning how to run a piece of equipment, now he's learning patterns and snow plowing and all the other components. Let's see if he listens to what I just said. <laughs> oh, oh. Perfect, Henry, perfect. All right. We'll come in, we'll do a straight push. Right here, straight push. Perfect, Henry, perfect. Let's go. So what we don't want is we get a giant push pile in front of us and then we swamp the shovelers. Just try to make it so I love the way that looks. Watching that snow roll, man. Plowing shares a lot of things in common with mowing a lawn. It's not just about running the equipment, it's about recognizing the most efficient pattern for your lot. Alright, so I'm going to throw a little curveball at you, Henry. Alright. That was perfect. So now you have this lot ready for me as a truck to go in without doing a lot of dinking around. Okay. Or a bigger loader to come in and just clean this whole lot doing straight pushes. Right. Okay? So if I said, hey, you go prep the lots, this is exactly what you would do. So you would just get all the cor corner corners back dragged away and leave the big fat straight runs for somebody else to go do. Okay. Right? So if I said that, that's what you do. But now we're doing a full push. So you go ahead and clear this entire lot out and put it right here. 
This lot's yours, Henry. Go for it. So even though Henry's a new operator, he's got to learn right, right out of the gate. And that means he's got to learn to keep his eyes and his head on a swivel looking for cars. Because when we're snow plowing, a lot of times the cars don't realize that we're going forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward, and we get into a pattern. And they just think that they can just shoot right by us, and that's how accidents happen. And I don't want my operators to get complacent, so I'm going to work hand in hand. And this also helps me to fortify the pattern, because because what you're seeing right here, Henry doing here, is the perfect pattern. He's setting things up for bigger equipment to be able to come in and move massive chunks of snow. So we like to use these little baby storms as training operations to help our operators dial in their skills. So when the big stuff hits, it's just go time. I see that controller, Tim? How do you like that one? I like it. I like being able to hit both buttons at the same time and wing it back and forward together. That is a nice controller, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. Thanks, Tim. That one is the short iron back blade. Sounds off tonight. I think it's low on hydraulic fluid. Or I mean, uh, low on fluid. I don't think it sounds quite right. Let's run it through its paces once. See how if you got fluid in there, because it does sound really light. It's, it's really Look, raise it up once. Let's just listen to it. Oh, shoot, it won't even raise now. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. What? Hey. Watch your toes. You want to set it? You want them to set it down? Ugh. Yeah, motor. No leakers. No leakers. I just want to just got fluid. Now the stuff down. Little. We good on fluid? Well, no. I can't tell. <coughs> that could be fluid, man. right up to the top. 
Yeah, it's not a fluid thing. It smells. Yeah, like the pump. I can't smell it, but if it's still. Yeah, it smells like something's frying out. The battery to charge it up. Yeah, if this battery was dead. pressed up against this. Uh, it was wedged up against there. You can see it was busted there. Mm. So I wonder if on the backside here that. Wow, looks like it's still making contact. Now you got nothing back here, Tim? No. No, now she's totally gone. Dude, that motor is cooking. Is that motor? That motor down there. You can see it cooking? Feel it. Like, God, you can cook some bacon on it. It won't go up or what? Now it's got nothing. Hmm. That is hot. God, you can smell it burning. Feel that motor, that motor is burning up. Is it hot? Can you touch it? Yeah, no, that motor's that'll right. burn your that'll burn your fingers. It's that hot. What is it, six degrees out or sixteen or something? I don't know. Okay, so probably gotta get a jack or somehow lift this so we can get this back plow off. We can't really take it off like this. It's stuck up in the air. So it ain't gonna come out of there without jacking the back of the truck up off the ground somehow. And we gotta do it here. So it'd be nice to actually have a floor. I can drive all the way over the, the side. Yeah, maybe it'll bump something loose while your mouse and try to keep holding it up and get it to come up. Yeah. I'll just drive over. Drive it over there and then we got to jack it up somehow. Henry, you're going to stay here and you're going to work with Tim and Alex to get this off. Okay. Because they may need that skid loader and a bucket to okay. get that off. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go through this site and you see how Jake is getting all these curbs? You yep. see how nice and tidy these are? Yep. That's your job to go through and he's doing that with a loader, the big yep. loader. So that's your job to go through the entire site, every count that you've seen tonight, and okay. make sure every curb is spick and span after these guys tell you that you're good to go. Okay. Cool? Good go. Yeah. You gonna head over to Augusta Shores? Second season on this. Nah, it's probably gonna go do, uh, we got that one in St. Paul, we got the church. I'm gonna head over to the Church of Shovel. They're working on Augusta Shores still. Church. Can I go do the church? Yeah, I can go run down to the church. Well, we got this big loader. Why don't we bring that out with us? How does this happen? My plow is almost off. Did that just snap? Wow. And it's she's latched. Like she's still latched. Right. Unless it never fully latched. Which maybe it didn't. So I didn't put this on. So whoever did put it on. Maybe didn't have her fully latched. Okay. Fixing on the... My plow almost fell off. I'm like, what the heck? Ugh, probably something. All right, so if he pushes right here. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Come on forward. Yep, 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 you're good. Go ahead, give her a little juice. Yep, ho, oh, oh. ho. All right, we got it fixed. All I know is I've been driving around without a... This thing's in there? 
Yeah, but check this out, dude. I got. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is sick, dude. Yeah, I mean, that's Look at it. No ice, no gets. caked. Well, we're glad to have the first storm of the season behind us because we had a lot of things we just weren't ready for. We put the tracks on the kitty cat, but then the cat skid loader basically started to overheat and we found out that we lost the seal on the engine. So that has to go into Caterpillar and they say they can't even begin to look at it for three weeks. So we're gonna be out that loader for at least another two weeks or more before they even get to it. Uh, we didn't have the proper tracks on the Kubota, so it was a slip and slide for Zach. We did end up losing the pump on the short iron back plow, but then shortly later we lost the transfer case on another one of the pickup trucks. Then the entire four-wheel drive blew out on us. The uh, TLB tractor loader backhoe never did fire up and get running properly because it was just froze solid. So. This snowstorm was a fail. It was an utter fail, a lesson learned, and that's excellent because that sets it up for us to succeed three days later when we had 21 inches of snow come on. This was a little baby event, let us warm up and see everything that we had to fix. But when that 21 inch event came in, we were a lot more ready for it. And that video is coming down the pipeline. That's all we got for you on this one. If you enjoyed this one, let me know in the comments down below and hit that like button because it goes a long way. God bless. Go get them, you guys.